Hi there, I'm Nancy Nash with Starfish Strength, and today I wanna to give you two great stretches to help your neck and shoulders feel fantastic. So for our exercises today, we'll want the support of a sturdy wall and just enough room to reach overhead. And then you'll want either a dumbbell, a resistance band, or something that you can grip at a width a little bit narrower than your shoulders. So I'm gonna suggest sets of eight or 10 of these exercises to begin with, and then we'll go through them twice so you can really get a feel for what the muscles should be doing and make sure you get the full benefit. So for this first exercise, we're gonna use the support of the wall. So I wanna position myself so I've got my back facing the wall, and then I'm gonna position my hips against the wall with a little bend in the knees. And then do check out the feet, just make sure that they're about hip width. One's not far forward of the other. They're approximately even. And then I'm going to try to position as much of my back and shoulders against the wall as I can. I'm going to hold my item, my dumbbell or band between my hands, and then I'm going to do my reach overhead. So when I'm doing this, I've got just a micro bend in the elbows. I'm drawing the belly button in every time I reach overhead. And then I'm gonna control that lower on the way back down. If I can, I'm gonna bring my head against the wall. If that gives you any sort of tenderness in the neck, then you can leave the head forward a little bit. So the more I draw the belly button in and bend the knees, the more I kind of do that pelvic tuck, the easier it will be to really flatten my back against the wall. You might feel this in the upper abs, between the shoulder blades or underneath the shoulder blades in the back. All of that is great. And if one of your shoulders is tighter than the other, you may notice that the arms kind of want to pull to that side. So just trying to make this as even as I possibly can. I want to lower back down before I start feeling like it's really pulling or a tug on one side so that we're working towards equilibrium and everything feels really good after this. Nice job. So our second exercise, we don't need the wall. I'm gonna take my item and place it behind my back. Again, I wanna just check out my foot position. Make sure that the feet are about hip width. They're nice and straight. I'm gonna draw the belly button in, let the shoulder blades fall down, and then slowly tilt the chin down. So just doing this much, I should feel a pretty good stretch in the neck and the shoulders, the upper traps. And then from here, I'm just gonna slowly turn my head towards one shoulder and then slowly make a half circle, half moon shape back to the other shoulder. I'm gonna stop as soon as I start to feel a little bit of tightness. Most of us are gonna rotate really freely in one direction and a little more stiffly in the other direction. So be patient with this. If you do feel any tightness in the chest or the front of the shoulder, don't go quite as far on that that side or just let yourself come out of this for a moment. Give yourself a couple rear shoulder rolls and then go ahead and let yourself come back into it. If it feels impossible with the item that you're using to really hold it behind you, then let yourself hold something much wider. So something like a belt or a band is going to be a lot more forgiving and let the shoulders move more freely. So try something like that. If you're finding that that a dumbbell or a can is just too restrictive. Nice job. I'm gonna have us go through both of those exercises one more time so you can really get the full benefit of them. So again, go ahead and position yourself for that wall pullover. I'm gonna make sure that the feet are nice and even, about hip width apart, draw the belly button in, tuck the pelvis under, Position as much of my back against the wall as I can. Position my shoulders and my head against the wall if that feels okay on the neck. 
and then drawing the belly button in, I'm gonna reach up overhead and then control on that lower back down. Hopefully going through this a second time, you're feeling much more flexible. You may start to feel this in the middle of your back if you're using a weighted item, and that's excellent because we are stretching and working those muscles. This is actually a strength exercise. So even doing it with no weight, you're gonna get some strength benefit for your shoulders and back because we have gravity pushing down on whatever you're holding, pushing down on your arms. So give yourself a couple more reps to just really feel all the elements of that stretch. Feel the abs helping out as you pull them in to reach up overhead and use them to help you control that lower back down. Feel the back stretching and then trying to make this as even left to right as I can. Just trying not to reach past what my tighter side says feels good. All right, nice job. So I'm gonna have us try that stretch holding the item behind the back one more time. And then remember, if you need something that's more forgiving, go ahead and let yourself hold something wider behind you. So making sure my feet are even, Bending the knees just a little bit, I'm gonna draw the belly button in. Let the shoulder blades drop back and down. Tilt the chin down. And then I'm gonna gently turn my head towards one shoulder and gently turn my head towards the other shoulder. So just slowly going back and forth and kind of just testing that end range of motion, not forcing myself beyond it, but I can just kind of feel where I reach that. I feel a little bit of tightness in the neck and then slowly coming back to the other side. Again, nothing in this should feel forced. We wanna feel really great after this. So just keep in mind that seven or eight out of 10 stretch feeling is what we're going for. Nothing should feel like it's being yanked in a way that it doesn't like. Thank you so much for exercising with me today. I hope your neck and shoulders are feeling so much better than they were at the beginning of this video. If you did find this helpful, please feel free to share it with someone else you think it might help and check out the rest of my channel. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for exercising with me today. I hope this work, um,